Oh no, it was doing with Dan who glued his down. That's what Son it was. Of a gun. Because I was You're watching the second one of... person. I... For... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying you were doing with Dan. <laughs> I wasn't saying you were doing with Dan. Dang it. Or are you? I'm not freaking doing it with Dan. <laughs> do it with Dan. Do it with Dan. Just freaking do it with Dan. Just freaking do it. <laughs> Just do it. I think uh. we just found our opening. <laughs> this lady behind me is driving like an idiot. I don't know if you can see her in the in the mirror there, but she is driving like a moron. Like, who tailgates a motorcycle? Why like why would you do that? I can understand why motorcycles would tailgate a person, but a, a person, a car, but what what kind of a person tailgates a motorcycle? There's so much inherent danger in doing that. Like, yeah, this is an old Goldwing, so it can't stop as quickly as my like my old FC1, but honestly, I can stop real quick. If you can't get a good look at this moron. Yeah, there she goes. Crazy person. Yeah, so sorry I haven't posted a, a motovlog in a while. Uh, I gotta get part two done of, of the Barrington Trail. But I just, I've been sick, and it hasn't been a good situation. I've been sick and, and tired because of it. So it's been kind of rough. But uh, this is my first video on the new Goldwing. Yeah, baby. Got a, I got a 1984 Goldwing for a thousand bucks, and uh, I'm pretty, I'm pretty stoked about it. I'm pretty jazzed. All the wind protection, like there's so much fairing on this thing. Just all the wind protection. The only thing is because of the fairing, the way that air moves around it, it like pushes the air around. Yeah, dude, he was digging it. Yeah, the way that it pushes air around and moves it. It gets this kind of like air bubble effect and it pushes me in the back. Like it's pushing me in the side and the back of my head. It's weird. Yeah, I mean, despite the weird buffeting, because I've never experienced this before, because I've never had a bike with this much wind protection. Despite the, the weirdness of airflow, it's pretty sweet. It's a pretty sweet ride. I gotta say, it's so it's like squishy, you know? definitely a very different world coming from a performance motorcycle to an old 84 carbureted you know 1100 cc engine that and the, and the bike itself weighs probably like 700 pounds it's it's amazing how much these bikes weigh but the engine's strong I mean I got I don't know how a bike can be older than me and have an engine that feels this young you know, like it just feels strong. So I think I'm gonna trick it out a little bit. I'm gonna put some new blinkers on and stuff. But that's gonna be a process. That's gonna be an involved thing. I don't want to spend too much money on this because it's it's an old beater bike until I get a like a nice ADV. You know, it's just that's just how it's gonna have to be. And that's why I bought it. I just didn't want to have a loan right now. Going through some some life changes. Gonna be moving soon. So, I just didn't, I, the FZ1's gone, uh, and, the, and the money I got from it paid off the Grom as well as itself, so I didn't have any motorcycle payments, and I put the Grom on just liability, and so I was like, well, I don't want to take out another loan on another motorcycle, because then I got a monthly payment, and I have to go back to having, uh, like, full coverage, and if I don't have to do that, I don't want to. So I just decided, well, I'm not going to. So I decided to get an old, old motorcycle that I don't have to worry about having full coverage on because, you know, if, if I paid a grand for the motorcycle and I do something stupid to cause it to die or, or get injured anyway, if I kill this thing, uh, that's going to be quite an issue. If I damage this thing... It's not exactly showroom to begin with, so I don't have to worry too much about it. Plus, these old gold wings are so like solidly built that if if you drop it, your chances are you're not gonna break it. It's got all those crash bars and everything on it. Just like all all the fairing in the world, just I think I'll be fine. Although it is it is wild with the little like 
the little gremlins that the electric <laughs> the electrical system has. The other day, I was riding down uh, 236. I was riding down uh, one of the one of the highways here, and <laughs> all of a sudden, the 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 tack just just stops working entirely. Just stop. I don't know. If, I was going slow enough where I don't know if the uh, if the yeah, you know what? I think it was the tack and it was the speedometer. But, uh, yeah, they both just froze up. Or just, like, died. Just, like, stopped working. And uh, I was like, oh, great. Like, I don't care that much. It's just an RPM gauge. But it was enough to make me like, oh, here we go. <laughs> this is the end. And then all of a sudden just woke back up. And I was like, oh, oh, that's right. We're driving. You know? It was weird. It was a weird problem. I'm also wondering if the uh, if <laughs> the radiator fan isn't working because if I'm traveling, the uh, the engine keeps itself nice and cool, nice and cool. Uh, but if I'm sitting or if I'm going through like really slow traffic where there's minimal airflow, um, you, you'll see the temperature gauge starts to climb. And, uh, and I, it got too red the other day, and I was like, oh, no, <laughs> like, this is not a good situation, but I, I, so it seems to be that it's, it's circulating water, it's circulating the coolant, but it's not, um, but the fan isn't kicking on when it needs to, so that's a interesting, it, it, it's like all of the problems that this thing has, like are not urgent. They're just like things that I should be working on eventually. Oh, by the way, do it, do it. Yeah, the automatic blinkers, man. <laughs> I have never had a motorcycle with automatic blinkers. It is the dirtiest thing. And sometimes it'll shut off and I don't want it to. I'm like, oh, come on. But most of the time, it's like, it's pretty perfect when it does. It's just, like, I don't, I honestly don't know what mechanism it uses to shut them off, but, uh, it's pretty hilarious. It's like it, the bike's got a little finger in there, like, on the inside of it, just like, I've already scraped peg a few times on this thing. And when I say peg, I mean, like, crash bars, <laughs> because it's so low. Coming around. Ooh. Uh, handling this thing like a boss. So yeah, the gold wing. <sighs> Luggage for days. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah.